Namaste. You may be wondering why your right and left brain hemispheres hear different frequencies during meditation. This talk may help you understand why. All right. So the right side of the brain is associated with the left nostril, the Ida, and they govern the functions of the parasympathetic nervous system, and they're quite active during night when we sleep. So it's relaxing, calming, soothing, restoring, rejuvenating, and recuperating. Therefore, sleep is really very important because uh, when we sleep, this is where the functions of the parasympathetic nervous system heals us. Right? Not only that we hear low uh, vibration, you may also experience musical sounds, you know, singing, like choir singing. You may also hear the sound of the uh, flute or wind or string instruments. I've heard you know, the sound of the bell, the chime, this one. Yeah. And uh, appearing in rhythmic intervals. Also, the sound of the bowl. Right. And commonly, we hear this type of sounds yeah, around the back side of the right hemisphere of the brain. All right. So the right side of the brain is responsible for the functions of the left side of the body. So they crisscross, actually. All right. Now, the uh, left hemisphere of the brain is associated with, with the pingala nadi, the right nostril. And they govern the sympathetic nervous system, our active side. And it governs the right side of the body. Therefore, it's associated with the solar energy. And it emits a higher frequency, like the sound of the crickets. Yeah, higher in frequency, but not annoyingly loud. So it's like close but afar, like you're uh, in the forest alone, the sound of the forest. Yeah, you might also hear gushing water or wind sound, high yeah, in frequency. Right. And it's quite more obvious, yeah, that um, uh, left side of the brain, hear that sound um, higher. All right. And um, being the sympathetic nervous system, it's active during daytime and it peaks, yeah, at noon. Yeah. All right. Now, but in the final stages of your meditation, the culmination, there's two the frequencies, they become one singular sound. And the sound is the never-ending om. Om. And it happens once the middle channel opens up. The shishumna nadi. Yeah. When the shishumna nadi opens up, yeah, the energy pierces through the chakras of our energetic anatomy, exits the sahasrara chakra, and for a moment, it will spin around, levitate, and connect with other energetic forces, and it goes back inside the heart. Well, we can only experience one unified sound, and that's the sound of the never-ending Om. It's the sound of the shishumna nadi. Yeah, it's just a sound we hear during deep absorption, and the brain is filled with that low vibrational sound of the Om. There's only one sound there, and there's only one image, pitch black, but it's so clear and then vivid inside. And then the sound fills your cranial cavity, the never-ending Om. It's a sound yeah, where all that is created come from. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.